Hi friends, last two days I completed this Hibernate mapping, mapping file. Now, this video I completed um, Hibernate configuration file that is CFG file. So, what is CFG file means? CFG file is used to establish the connection with the database. In this CFG files, we write uh, data, um, database connections and Hibernate configurations, Hibernate connections and mapping files. Three, three we write three statements. First, create new other XML. Click XML file. Next, the naming convention of uh, CFG file is hibernate.cfg.xml. The naming convention. So, hyper I will give hibernate.cfg.xml and click next button. Yes, it will. Uh, create xml from the uh, xml template not dtd back button xml from the template next and finish first you can add uh, dtd above the xml you can paste dtd file this dtd file is validated this xml so in uh, xml so there are three type two types dtd and uh, one second okay write hibernate configuration and next you can write session factory tag there are uh, dtd and xsd files sorry dtd and xsd files in uh, there are two types so write session factory in this session factory we are writing three we writing hibernate uh, uh, database connections so what are the database connections username password url and uh, uh, the uh, class name so property name connection dot property name equal to connection dot you can close the property tag so total four are there in uh, database connection that is url uh, class name url username password so i will copy and paste four times so first property name is one second friends i will remote First property name is uh, connection dot username. First, I will give username that is database. I am using Oracle, so I will give Oracle username system. And next, I will give password. Oracle password. This is Oracle password. Tiger. I will use Tiger. I will give password Tiger. And uh, you driver class. So, driver class name is oracle driver that is you can write fully qualified name oracle i think driver class name oh no i think driver class only so i think driver class jdbc if you don't know the class uh, fully qualified name you can you can write control shift t control shift t and you can write Oracle driver, you can check Oracle driver, you can see Oracle driver and press enter. So you can see friends, public class fully qualified name, copy and paste this fully qualified name. So driver class name is oracle.jdbc.oracle driver and next you can write URL that is jdbc colon oracle colon thin colon at the rate localhost 1521 xc oracle thin colon i think you can change friends oracle cle thin colon at the rate localhost 1521 xc you can change press oracle cle next you can write hibernate uh, hibernate connections that is property name equal to so uh, what is the hibernate configuration means we can write dialectic mandatory we can write dialectic and there are three more uh, more is there many of the uh, configuration in 
configurations are there hibernate the mandatory is first dialectic dialectic uh, configuration is mandatory so we write dialectic what is dialectic means which uh, which database you want to connect so i want to use connect to oracle so oracle dialectic you can see friends control shift t and use org dot hibernate dot dialectic dot oracle dialectic it will this dialectic is used to establish the uh, connection with the oracle driver and show the show sql the statement is used to uh, see we can see the um, sql commands in console if you write true if you write false we, we didn't see next hbm to ddl dot auto so hbm to ddl dot auto is used to validate the schema there are four types is there create validate or uh, three types is there create validate update uh, create and drop next we can write mapping file mapping resource equal to we can match this hibernate mapping so this hibernate mapping is employee dot h employee dot hpm dot xml so simply copy this hibernate mapping okay so now i completed hibernate mapping and configuration cfg files next video i completed um, this example so if you like this video please subscribe my channel